Greetings, one and all, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to The Parasite, my newest robot for the leveling series, which has been hastily built to test out one thing and one thing alone. Do I still enjoy rails? I haven't actually been able to test rails since the epic loot patches hit, or at least I haven't been able to test a robot that uses rails as its primary weapon. I have been using them a little bit on my tank, with only two of them at most, and I tend to find they're pretty useful as kind of a sidearm weapon. Occasionally getting a really good shot when it's just needed feels really good, especially if you're only using one or two rails. Although for that, I really think a stronger rail would be a lot better than these little rail piercers. Now the rail piercers, of course, are the smallest variant of the rails, and also the cheapest, hence why I've bought them, and they have quite a decent fire rate and don't really consume all that much power. However, they also don't deal all that much damage to compensate for this, so I'm not sure if they really are the rail of choice if you're going to mine them, but maybe I'm wrong. In fact, I kind of hope I am. A more rapid fire rail is definitely something I would prefer than a slower, stronger rail, just because I tend to like weapons where I can continuously fire and do continuous damage. And at the same time, I've always loved rails, so getting the best of both worlds would be fantastic. Now, off camera, I have been making sure to get my damage daily crates, and I've also played a couple of team deathmatches, and even a battle arena, which actually went pretty well because, well, I was using the tank, not the helicopter, so I actually knew what I was doing. But regardless of that, sadly, I haven't been all that lucky in terms of loot. I did get the insect leg soldier, which has already been recycled, which was then used to get the aero rods and the rails themselves. Now, the, the rails have a nominal count of 9 in terms of fire rate. I was able to get five on this bot, but I also wanted lasers, I wanted to try out shields, and I wanted uh, to try again with the nano binder, otherwise I would definitely try to have nine or more to get as much fire rate as possible. But I've got decent hopes for the Parasite, it's a very quickly built robot that honestly is just testing rails, and next time, if I do enjoy them, I will be making a rail hover, and that I will be building on camera, because I haven't built a hover in a very, very long time, so lots of mistakes are going to be made there. And enough of me waffling, let's get straight into a team deathmatch, although I will likely now play a few clips of me opening crates just to see exactly what I've been getting. And so it begins. We are with some very small robots. Not that I'm going to complain, because hopefully the enemy team will be the same. So, because I'm a coward and I do like vantage points, we're going to try and stick on the mountain as much as possible. Just try to get as many assists and as much CPU damage done as fast as possible, so we get some lovely shiny crates. The rusted crate, although it looks beautiful, isn't particularly shiny. Hello, little fellow. Whoa, you lost your back. I may have got that kill. If so, I'm very, very happy with that. Hmm, should have fired a bit sooner there. Don't, don't really know why I hesitated, honestly. He'll probably be looking at me soon. Oh, and he does have a medic. Ah! You spotted me, you fiend! Oh, so much damage done to him! Someone finish him off, please! Goodbye, medic. Getting used to the faster fire rate is kind of weird. Okay, kind of in a bad position to really hit anyone from here. Let's all pretend that actually hits, because that would have looked awesome if it would have. I think he may have been a dedicated medic. I saw no combat weapons on that robot. I do love the idea of having a, a dedicated medic really, really focusing on just healing as much as possible, but in the lower CPU matches, it just doesn't feel that useful. Eventually, I will make a almost pure assistance vessel. Although I will probably still have at least a laser wasp or two, just to do a little bit, but almost completely dedicated. D d um, so it's a pure healer without the pure healing. It's focused on healing, I guess? What are you firing at? I'm guessing an enemy. Uh, let me help! I want to do damage! Give me a shinier crate! Yes! Haha! <laughs> no scoped! For a tiny little bit of damage. Would have been far more deadly with a higher ranking weapon. Higher CPU weapon, I suppose. Also, wish I had a hover right now. 
Um, did he die? Also might consider actually adding a radar to this robot. Not a big fan of adding radars, I just don't feel they're worth a the CPU, but on this type of bot, maybe it will be. Firing down, can't be done with this robot. Lesson learned. Yeah, none of my weapons fire down. That is actually a big concern, so maybe putting the lasers on their side to be able to do that might be a good idea. Yeah, actually, definitely a good idea. Well, he's going to get the kill, but at least we'll get an assist, I suppose. Well, how did we do? Top five, maybe? Okay, second place. I'm okay with that. Five assists we got there, I think. Should have checked a little bit longer. Okay, not a terrible first impression. Definitely can, can see a few problems with the robots. Oh, yes, the recent mini patch that came out, which was announced on Twitter. So now, finally, higher CPU games, as it says, will improve the rarity of loot received. And also, I think Protonium crates no longer give you cubes or something like that. I'll have to look at the patch notes specifically. I may even make a little mini video about it, honestly, because some of them have addressed a lot of the problems I outlined in my recent video. Although, one of the changes was not exactly clear, which I wasn't happy with. Anyway, enough of that. Okay, good start. Screw you, but still, very good start indeed. An electro shield right. Ooh, I think I have the left variant of that. Do I have the left variant? Oh, I have the right variant already. Even so, we could make it like a weird lattice shape, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I might actually recycle that. Just because I've already got one of those, I might recycle that to save up for something else, but I'm not sure just yet. Let's get into another match and see if we can test the rails a little bit more. And here we go again. So, a few things which I've learned from that last battle, especially looking back at the footage. My weapons aren't placed very well. Even the ones at the top, they are clipping the shields a little bit. I have to kind of rock my mech and make sure it's facing downwards to shoot anything kind of on level or lower. It's just not very well put together. It's definitely okay when you're fighting someone on a level playing field, but as a rail, that's not always going to happen, so definitely need to rethink it. Oh. Okay, you're going to get away. Let's see if we can hurt this guy. Hi! Now it's just her. That's just too awesome to shoot. You get to live. Excuse me, I'm hurting your friend. There you go, your friend is now dead. Oh, I'm so sorry, Doge. That is an awesome looking robot. Whoa, that just took out almost all of your bot. Spotted him just so I can see where he is. There he goes. Not too bad, not too bad at all. I am impressed by the rail damage though, honestly. I expect it to be far less. Oh, I need a hover. I really need a hover. I jumped in place then expecting to be able to move once I jumped. But of course, without the hover, that's not the case. Well, a little bit vulnerable here, spotting him. Actually, I don't really know about the damage. I guess because rail damage is, an, is now a penetration thing rather than just um, regular damage spreading. I guess sometimes you can just get such a good shot. You're an assistance dog! That's awesome! I'm so sorry, but you are an assistance dog. I need to kill you first, otherwise you're just going to keep on healing. Spot him again. For the team. I think we hit his gun, but didn't take it off. Now we did. Don't really know why I'm holding down shift for. Ah. As much as that look just purely looks awesome, it's also incredibly tanky. A lot of respect for that design, honestly. Can we take out that guy's flak? Ah, damn it. I'm gonna go for his legs. Okay, I need to get out of here now, just so I can start healing. Yeah, that's why. Highest ranking of rail. I do still think I would rather have that, even if I do prefer the constant damage. It just seems to be a bit more useful. Really need that hover. Am I hitting a leg or his gun? All I know is it's something with high health. Oh, I don't want to kill the dog! 
Honestly, I don't think I can kill the dog. It's block spam god. It's like I'm doing no damage to him at all. Still need, still need to get used to the fire right of this thing. I'm going to ignore that flak because I sense blood. Fine, no longer ignoring you. The dog's almost dead, which is normally something I'd say with a lot of sadness, but right now I'm okay with it. We still redrawn that match. I'm actually really happy because the enemy team has a medic that's actually supporting the team. They're actually doing really well. I haven't seen that in a team deathmatch in a long time, especially since I'm playing the leveling uh, account more than my regular account. Did I mention I really want to hover? I'll see if I can put one on the back rather than the medic weapon after this. Ah, he also has a plasma. I was hoping the flak would be his only weapon, but apparently not. There we go. Just respot him for the team. I really hope I got that kill. I feel like I deserved that kill. Pretty happy with this spot so far. Even with that massive rail hit, which took out far more than I was hoping, I wasn't too disappointed with that. That's where that rail shot came from. Does he have two carbon thrusters on his mech? Well done, the shield, absorbing a shot. Well, now he's spotted for the team. I can't imagine he's going to survive too much longer. Go team! I really can't reach there fast enough, so let's see if we can just get a few more scores here. Yes! Level 17! And yes, we got first place with four kills and five assists. I pretty much hurt everyone on the enemy team at some point. A much longer battle than I'm used to these days, and I'm not going to complain about that. Protonium! And... No! Just... No interest in that in the slightest. Okay, well, oh well. Level 17. A bit more CPU. So, what I want is a hover. Doesn't really have to be a big hover, just needs to be a hover. So for those who don't know, who are, pop who are possibly new to Robocraft, especially since we say leveling series, um, if you add a hover to a mech, you walk slightly faster and you have a lot of control when you jump. The walk speed I am not too concerned about, honestly. I will link a video in the description which is a really good explanation of the difference between hover and no hover because I can't remember exactly who made it now, but there was a really good video going around somewhat recently, like in the last few months, showcasing both of the differences really, really clearly, so I will be linking that. But yeah, you have more control when you're in the air, and you walk slightly faster is basically the pros. The cons is that you don't jump as high if you have a hover, because the hover tries to keep you at a certain height, which is higher than on the floor, but not quite as high as your regular jump height, which causes quite weird um, physics. I could put it there. Don't have a CPU for two, though. I mean, we could, remove, we could just remove that and just do this. Uh, and then, could we afford a radar? We could. Now if, if I do, now, if I put it there, this rail can't shoot backwards. That's really ugly. Honestly, that is really, really ugly and really, really vulnerable. So what about if we cut into this a little bit, and then we just do something like this, just to cover it up a little bit. Hmm. I was... See, my thought is maybe curving it round there, but I don't, I don't think that would look very good either. So for now, we'll just have that. That's my little section for the hover. It's got its own special place. And then for the radar, we'll just put it there for now, like a, li like a little weird tail. We'll, we'll work on that later if I actually decide to even keep the mech. I will be putting the mech on the store, though, later on, regardless if I do keep it or not. It's kind of becoming like a library of things I've created for the series.
And so begins what is very likely the final battle of the episode, and we have an adorable little hot air balloon of death on our team. How can anything go wrong? So I think I've decided I actually really do like the rail piercers, the smallest one, and yes, I did forget the name of that for a second, but I'm not sure if it's really what I want to stick to. I do like it, but at the same time, I feel like saving up for the larger rail might be the better idea. Whoa, those are some big enemies. Ah, darn it. Well, I took out two of his guns. Yeah, the problem with this bot really is just the weapons are very inconsistent where they can actually fire, and trying to figure out which gun's firing next can be a little bit difficult. Dug it. At least we can actually see the little red dot then, which was indicating I would have missed if I just took that shot. Thank you, auto healing. Second to slow that shot then. Pretty even battle, although I'm not playing particularly well this fight. And no guns for you. Maybe a plasma would be good. Being able to do a bit of arcing fire would be pretty cool. Oh, hovers are so awesome. <laughs> Just look how far I jump then. Oh, being able to control myself in the air again. That is so nice. I was hoping maybe I'd get one shot there. I don't stop him from fully healing at least. Close range combat! Well done, Tesla. You de you definitely earned that kill. And we got third place, so wasn't too bad. We got three assists. I think we should do one more match, though, because that was pretty quick. And I kind of felt like I was just confused the entire battle. I'm not really sure where to go. Diamond. Okay. I'm actually completely okay with that. We now have a rudder. How many plane parts do we have now? I do want to make a small plane at some stage, even if flak in the lower CPU battles does scare me a little bit about that. We have two rudders. Um, oh, we do technically have enough right now to build a flyer. A plane. Especially if we steal one of the rotor blades from our helicopter, we could make a very, very primitive VTOL. Maybe. Maybe. One last match, though, for now while I think about that. And so begins the actual final battle. This will definitely be the last one because it means I've been playing for half an hour. So, you have Proto Seekers, okay. I don't know what you have. You have Rails. I'm going to try and split him in half. Ah, oh, darn it, there's a medic. Oh, you're firing at me. Or him. Maybe, I don't, don't actually know. Are you going to move? Excellent. Darn it. Would've been lovely to get that kill then, but nope. Wasn't destined to be. Spotted for the team, and he's getting away, and he's gone. Going to just inch forward. Actually aiming for functional components may be smarter here. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. Wasn't, wasn't really prepared for that, honestly. Wasn't really prepared for that. Ah, who needs to zoom in when you've got rails? Not me. I think he must have a hover or something, because he's still moving way too much. Is that my rail shot? There it goes. That is amazingly terrible. <laughs> that got me. That got me far too much. I'm sorry if I just blew out the mic. I did get the warning. Your microphone is being overloaded. Now, only I can hear that, because it's not recorded with the recorder, but it was very loud in my left ear to yell at me to shut up. Oh, second place. Wow, lots of assists there by Pickle P. But I got the most damage, so there. We are all best at something. I think I will be keeping this mech. Parasite is something I will be keeping. One more diamond then, okay. 
And... Another rudder! Well, now we can definitely make a small plane. Okay, so let's go to the upload bot. Ignoring the coughing fit I just had, so... Rails are tiny and adorable and painful and adorable and hurty and adorable. Yay. So there we are, we now have three, maybe four robots up, although one of them is just a grey variant of that. I'm actually tempted to take this one down. Actually, I'm going to. It's almost the exact same as the other one, but worse. Uh-oh! Mmm. We just did a bad thing. We just did a bad thing. I was not... I've never took a robot down from the store. I did not know that if you took it down, you got the reward. So, okay, how are we going to deal with this then? What I need to do is... I need to purchase something of that value and then not use it. What What can I purchase of 72,000? I can almost purchase a flak. I could purchase... You know what? I'm going to purchase seven proto-seekers because I hate proto-seekers at the moment. There we go. And they will forever be there and inefficient if I tried to sell them. So that never happened, okay? That was a big mistake. I was not aware you got the specific... Um, robots from a robot. I thought it, that only happened if you collected the earnings. Okay, well, that was something I really should have paid attention to before clicking so much. Well, with that mini heart attack out of the way, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft, the levelling and looting, or looting and levelling, depending if you look at the thumbnail or the title, is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and if you have any suggestions for any specifics for the hover I, I, I will be building in either the next episode or the episode after, then please leave it in the comments below. I'm always happy to see the comments and, su and suggestions, stuff like that, so it kind of gives me a lot of ideas. Also, my speech just went completely for those last few sentences, because I'm very tired. So, I'm off to bed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Epic outro. Thank <music> you.